So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have some ideas, and they're weird ideas. I have some leftover purple that had a little black and some green. And my start to start with, I'm just going to put whatever I want in there. So it's sort of kind of going to be a dirty pour. I want a little more of this blue. And I definitely want some more of that gold. And I have other greens and I want to use them. I'm even going to use some of this modern masters that they don't make it. Uh, it's no, it was art mines. <laughs> they don't make it anymore. But um, I think people are slowly letting me know when they find something similar. So I've put a bunch of paint you can see right over there onto the canvas and I'm going to spread it in a minute. Yeah, my greens are getting a little bit lost, but that's okay. I'll just put a lot in the end. I hadn't really totally made up my mind if I wanted to use the edge catcher like I used it the other day with the dribb dribbles. Some things need to go away. I like the white in the background. It looked like uh, reflections on water to me. I think my tweezers are around here, yay. I don't mind, ah. <laughs> I don't know. I do mind stuff in my paint, but since I work outside and they mow the lawns, I don't have much choice. There are occasionally things I can't get rid of until I, I don't find them till the next day. So if you're interested in buying any of my artwork, it will be extremely organic. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Short of dog hair. I don't really usually get dog hair, but maybe squirrel hair, bunny hair, whatever's on the breeze. Now this is an OXO omelette turning spatula and it's the best paint, paint spreading tool around and one of the reasons I love it is because it makes, makes it very easy for me to see whatever might be hiding in the paint. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out by doing what I thought I was going to do. And I'm going to put a bead of paint onto my edge catcher. This is weird, I know it's weird. And then I'm going to put it sideways. I wanted to do it the way I did it the other day, which was diag uh, this is diagonally, that was not. And I think I can also add some more colors in here, and I think I might do that. So maybe even some black and some gold. This is a totally weird way. This this may not work at all, but um, oh, there's the copper. Cool. I'm gonna. What? How am I gonna get that over here? I'm gonna do it right like this. And then I think because I oh really, well that doesn't matter yet at this point. But I am going to throw that painty spatula in there. And I'm going to take the rest of this paint off that edge catcher, which I will be using in a minute. Like I said, this may not work. It's just a thought. I'm going to let it roll down. I'm going to let it roll sideways, actually. Ooh, it's very painty. because I want something to look a little more random than it has and I like the idea that the white gives the impression of highlights. I'm going to rock my edge catcher so that I can get that paint to look interesting. So it can cover the edge actually. Then I'm going to try and get that paint to line up on the edge catcher with this side. I'm going to rock it again. take the residuals, including, oh, that's a very messy process. But it's still doing what I wanted it to do, which I'm kind of happy about. 
going to use my spatula to just to play with what I've got for textures. Now I've got something that's basic and textural and I can decide what else I want to do to it, which starts with some colors that are going to get a little treatment. I've got paint on everything. Well, usually when I'm learning a new process, it's a little messier than after I get the idea of how to fix it. Let that run over, let it run down, touch the edge catcher to it, and continue on my merry way retrieving paint and thinking about maybe adding a little bit more from my leftovers. Using my thumb to let it... If I put a little bit a layer of moisture and I have a puddle above it then it will fall down and react. Not sure I wanted to do that. But I guess as long as I'm here I might as well see what I can do. You could probably do this with brighter colors and, and black and white background and have it be pretty neat. Don't ask me why I'm doing that. Hey, it's trees. Cool. <laughs> so the only problem with that is these... Well, I guess that's not a problem. They're just going to be different different texture and I use GAC 800 so I can actually get away with that. It looks like some kind of stream and those do look like trees to me. Well stylized trees anyway. See how, how tall I can make my forest. I think we have a concert in the park today but I can't really recognize any of the lyrics so I'm hoping I'll get away with not infringing on anyone's rights. It's just the impression. And I really do want to get rid of that little dot in my sky, but I think I can just make stick my finger in it because it's wet. All right, so that's extremely surreal, but that's very cool. And I want to just grab some of the blue and see what can be done to give the impression of water. Right up there. And then all that's really left is for me to get the imp give the impression of a sky. And do I want that to be a turquoise sky? That's a Bahama blue sky. And I've got some other colors in that spatula. I think I'm going to wipe that off. Yeah, could be a problem. The music in the background. So far so good. I'm going to call it good before I get myself in any more trouble. I'm probably going to torch, tell you guys to shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you, and um, look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook, along with Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for stuff that's on Fine Art America and Pixels.com since uh, 2013. And if I need to add something to the sky tomorrow, maybe there won't be music playing and I won't feel like I'm in danger of uh, losing my video to somebody else's copyright. I love you guys. There's 86,000 of you. Check the Teespring under the video. Check for tomorrow's video on the um, on the community board on my channel. I think I'm going to take a risk for another minute and I'm going to go up and down in here and make it look more like a mountain with many layers of trees rather than just a few. I think I can do that.
without too much trouble. All right, we got a mountain over here on the edge, a cliff edge, and um, whatever is going to get fixed is going to get it tomorrow, like I said. Please share my videos, and if you watch them longer, you help my chances of getting found on YouTube. Although, even though that's the rumor, it's not my experience so far. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And uh, if you'd like to get in touch with me for any reason, my email address is right below the video. And if you have a hashtag and a date for whatever... Yep, I still got something in my sky. Um, for whatever you're interested in, then... I'm going to grab a skewer, I think, if I can find one. And try and suck up that dark color that wound up up there. So that if I put a little sun in, and now that's that's a coastline scape. If I don't move it too much, my trees will stay somewhat straight. I don't really mind the the idea of there being some highlights in there. I don't mind if my sun's not perfectly round either. Well, maybe I do. So, blue sky and remembrances of Maine. And I want some white paint right over there on that edge where I can... I wonder what I did with the white paint. I'm not seeing it. Oh well, I've got some other white paint. I'll use it. All right. Now that'll be cohesive and make me happy. I love you guys. There's 80, 86,000 of you, or I'm closing on 86,000 of you. I guess there's uh, 85,900. So if you're in the mood to subscribe, you might help me get to 86. And I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. We're actually in right position. Binge watch, would you? There's 1,200 videos. You can find them on created playlists. Bye now.